Before learning about Groovy, the scripting language Scriptrunner uses, we'll begin by reviewing the REST API that Atlassian uses. In this module, we'll review what REST API is and how it's used in Scriptrunner for Jira Cloud. REST API can be broken down into two acronyms. REST stands for Representational State Transfer, and API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs allow software to interact with each other. REST API, however, is a specific type of API that uses the representational state transfer architecture to allow one application to talk to another. In other words, it allows the user to call the system externally by a web request rather than interacting directly with the application. The Jira REST APIs allow users to write code that interacts with Jira to send and receive data. If you think of the REST API as a way to send requests for data, then the JSON is the way you receive and view the data. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. To illustrate this, let's look at an example in ScriptRunner's script console. This script makes a request to the REST API by using the appropriate API endpoint, which is specified between a pair of single quotations. Since this example specifies that the data should display as a map, you must use a JSON to produce this data in a readable way. Calling the JSON is done between single quotations in line 4 of this example. When you run the script, you can view the JSON map in the results section. Depending on the data you request, the URL for REST API may be different. In our earlier example, we used the issue API endpoint because the script was specifically interacting with issues in Jira. However, if you wanted to write a script that calls the Jira version, you would need to use a different REST API. Notice the difference in the API endpoint. Instead of issue, the second script shows server info, because it requests information on the Jira instance rather than a specific issue. Atlassian's developer documentation provides information on which API endpoints to use, depending on what you intend to do. We recommend referencing this documentation when building script runner scripts from scratch.